Can you tell me about what the natural hazard strategy is how, and how it came about? Yeah, sure. The natural hazard strategy, uh, it's a plan uh, for uh, what FM Global really, uh, and especially uh, FM Global Research, need to do to uh, expand the group and do more work in that area. But again, there are so many disciplines. You are talking about uh, earthquakes, flood, wind, storm surge as well as fire and equipment and terrorism. So you really need um, uh, a critical mass to really do the work. But in addition, you need to uh, be prepared to collaborate with other organizations uh, because there is a wealth of information there and you need to uh, take advantage of that. So the idea was uh, what would be our plan in order really to, uh, to take the natural hazard group to another level. And there, are, there were two things. Uh, one is to really the incre to increase the number of scientists. You need people to do the work. And number two is to um, make sure that we c collaborate more with other organizations to, to take advantage of the information up there and take advantage of FM Global Engineering as well. And collaboration doesn't mean that you give the work and you pay the money and you wait for the results. You need really a uh, competent, skilled group to be able to manage this work with the external organizations, make sure that we have the quality that we, 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 we all look forward to, to have, and take the results, implement them in a way that is useful to FM Global. Uh, what, what do you think of what's going on in the world in terms of natural hazard, natural catastrophes? It seems like uh, the Earth has been visited by quite a, quite a bit of disaster lately. When you see these things happening, what do you think about the work that needs to be done at FM Global? Ultimately, it's a matter of preparing your clients for the level of risk or hazard. And if you do this right, whether it's going to happen today or 10 years from now, they are prepared, they have uh, uh, good facilities so that they can minimize their losses or at least or prevent their losses and if we just continue to do what we do best and what was really valuable uh, now for almost two centuries to identify the hazard right and uh, to provide simple loss prevention solutions then I think everyone will be happy.